Alright guys, um, I'm Ian from Bushmasters and this video is to uh, go for those guys who are coming on a jungle trip down here in Guyana in South America. We send you a kit list of stuff you need to bring and this video is basically going through that. This is the list and I'll run through it very quickly and make any comments that might be of use to you. Uh, first thing, a head torch, these sort of pet saw, um, AAA battery ran head torches, preferably one that has a red filter um, because when you put it on at night you switch to red filter, you get in your hammock and there won't be any bugs and mosquitoes circling the white of the light. So one of those plus some spare batteries. They're very good, very easy to find. First aid kit. Now we have a group first aid kit. This is it here. Um, big thing full of all sorts of stuff. But this is for the group. You need to bring, obviously, a much, much smaller one for your own personal needs. All it needs to include is any medication that you're on, like anti-malarials and so forth. And of course, stuff to deal with minor cuts, minor scrapes, blisters, things like that. It's in the kit list what to bring. Got a tiny little med kit, about this big, uh, which you can buy in most chemists, ready made, is more than sufficient. We have a big one here. Okay, strong string. By that I mean paracord, or 550 cord, paracord. This is it here. Um, 10 meters you need, 5 meters will go in your belt kit, 5 meters is for miscellaneous use, um, broken shoelaces, etc. Make sure you bring paracord. Mosquito repellents. A bottle this size is all you're going to need. 50% DEET. Don't bring anything else, only bring DEET. Maximum 50% concentration. Uh, next one. Notebook and pen. Normal sort of book. This is Right in the Rain. Don't know if you can see the logo there. Um, Writeintherain.com. And you can buy waterproof notebooks from them. Pen, pencil, etc. Uh, sun cream, sun block, pretty obvious what that is, I think you all know. Only a small amount and with a screw top lid. This is a screw top lid. Not a lid that you pop open because that will go everywhere. So, and that's mainly because when we're on the rivers or in the savannah it can be very hot, very sunny. Um, so you would need that. Um, a sarong or towel is next. Something like this, pretty big. Not a small, tiny little thing. Hope you can see that. This is one of those uh, quick drying towels. But a sarong will work just as well. And you need one of those. Um, swimming kit. Often we're in the river. It's not essential, but if you want to bring swimming shorts, etc., you can do. Um, but often I just jump in with my clothes on and wash those at the same time. Okay, sandals. Something like this. A pair of Crocs. They're rubber, so they don't soak up water, so they don't get heavier, and they also dry. They're all enclosed, so you can't stub your toe on anything. And they've got a little thing at the back, which means it can stay on your foot when you're swimming in the river, so you don't stick your feet spiny trees or something. Okay, do not bring the sort of thing that you use to go diving with, little booties. They soak up the water, they stay wet, you'll be wearing them in the evening and your feet will continue to be um, soaking wet, which leads to immersion foot or trench foot. Bring something like this that can dry. Tevers, Merrells, they all make similar things. Um, next one is a small sewing kit. Mine's quite large because I'm always repairing rubbish. Just a few needles and some cotton is all you need. Literally two or three needles and some thread so you can stitch up any repair, um, any rips to your clothing and so on. Sun hat, important for the boats. Make sure it is a broad brimmed hat like this. Not baseball hats, not a pink hat. Broad brim hat like this to keep the sun off everywhere. Okay, next one is washing kit. Very, very basic. Toothbrush. 
toothpaste with a screw top lid, not a pop top. Some Q-tips, clean out the ears because they get all gunky. And liquid soap with a screw top lid, not a pop top. Uh, body wash, whatever you want to call it. These float in the water, so you can find them when they disappear from you in the river. A bar of soap will not. It must be something like this. Very, very basic. That's all you need. You do not need deodorants and stuff like that for the jungle. Okay, next one is boots. Just like these jungle boots I have on here. Lightweight um, boots, which dry easily. The main thing, however, is that they are comfortable for you. Okay, so if you have a pair of lightweight walking boots that you've used for years and they're comfortable, bring those. Don't go buying brand new things if you've already got something. But please don't bring anything that's Gore-Tex lined or any other waterproof material um, because in this environment, the water will get in. We're wading through rivers up to here regularly. So the water will get in, it will stay on your foot and that leads to immersion foot or trench foot. So you do not want to have that. You need the water to escape and the boots to dry out. Trousers. Okay, you need two pairs of long trousers, just like these. Lightweight material. These are crag hoppers, North Face, etc. They all make them. You need two shirts. Again, this is crag hopper stuff. <laughs> As you can see, it's ripped, so I've got some sewing to do. Same as this one. Um, underwear and socks, three pairs of socks, three pairs of undies, um, and what you basically have is a set of clothes that you wear during the day, which are these, and you wash these at the end of the day, and then you change into your dry kit for the evening, and then you put these on again the next day. A little bit uncomfortable, but never mind. This is the tropics, it's never cold. You need a few lighters. Lots of random uses for lighters, so a couple of those, just cheap, big things. Sweat rag, an old t-shirt cook up, cut up, bandana like this, I'm always sweating, I'm sweating now actually. Um, so um, one of those is always useful. A watch, it must be robust, waterproof and have an alarm on it. There are lots of things you need to turn up to at a certain time. Your phone is not going to work. Bring a $10 cheap watch that's waterproof and has an alarm on it. Um, you'll need photocopies, paper like this, of all your uh, documentation, passports and so on. It's always a good idea when you travel to have backup copies, even maybe save a copy onto a hard drive or a cloud system or something. Uh, a little bit of cash, vaccination cards, go through yellow fever jabs, stuff like that. Um, and then obviously a pair of shades, cool Oakleys or something, so the photos look good. And that's basically it. There is additional kit which if you wish you can bring. Obviously a camera. This is an Olympus Tough waterproof camera, um, which I carry around. Make sure you've got a few spare batteries and I also bring one of those power monkey things which you just plug in with the cable and it charges up the battery uh, in here. So uh, they're always useful. Um, if you can, bring a waterproof one because uh, this environment, even if it's dry season, the humidity gets into the cameras and destroys them. Waterproof ones are much better. Uh, a multi-tool, if you want to bring that. Leatherman, this is a Gerber. I use both, they are cool. You're always using them for little things, making fishing kit, cutting up stuff, what have you. Um, so one of those is useful. Uh, a book to read. I'm reading Everest 53. Just finished it last night. Awesome read. Vultures just landed over there. Yeah, Everest 53. Awesome read. Recommend it to anyone. But of course these days everyone's going electronic. This is a Kindle and this has got 30, 40 books on it already. Brilliant piece of kit. Battery lasts a month, so I don't have to bring any recharger. Although, if I've got the cable, I could always use that power monkey that I use on the uh, camera if I needed to. Um, I also, on these things, uh, keep copies of all my passport um, information, stuff like that, just in case. You never know when you travel. Uh, it did happen to me recently. I lost my passport 
and uh, the fact that I had a copy of the old one and most importantly I had a copy of the visa which I put in place where I was got me out of a lot of trouble um, so those are useful um, if you want to bring to the jungle extra colos a t-shirt something like that you can do it's not needed what I'm showing you here is what you need if you want to bring it you can um, and then of course final one any goodies if you've got an mp3 player something like that favorite snack bar um, then bring those along vitamin tablets all that sort of stuff uh, if you do bring a, uh, an mp3 type player try and bring a battery operated one we're in the jungle for two weeks the battery won't last unless you've got one of those power monkeys I was talking about all this kit guys is as you can see pretty small it's not a big amount you can put this in a, a carry-on holder I would recommend that if you fly down here things like your boots and anything critical you carry on the plane or you wear it obviously your knife you can't um, stuff some stuff like that but personally your knife uh, your boots your personal medications a set of clothing definitely bring it on the plane not in the hold on the plane okay that's it this is the jungle kit guys okay this is not everything you bring to the country this is what you take into the jungle obviously we're going to be going out having a few beers at the end you'll be traveling down maybe traveling on somewhere else all that stuff is in addition to this a pair of jeans shirts favorite parking gear whatever it may be okay that's it um, any questions you have about that just email us amazon at bushmasters.co.uk and we'll be happy to uh, give you uh, some pointers especially where you can get the gear from uh, we'll do another video about some of the other trips you know desert island and uh, deserts and arctic and so on at a later date okay thanks very much